at Toomey Tools on July 6th. Can't wait. The Speaking of controversial ink, we got the heavyweight champion Salazar here. Certainly not a deserved heavyweight champ. What did you say? Certainly not a deserving champion. He's defended that title. He's won every match that knockout wrestling officials have put in front of him. LeBrava has won the knockout women's champion. This, this group, despite what you think about them, yeah, they may be controversial, but they should be named Successful Inc. because that's what they are. I don't know if I'd call it successful what they do. Of course you wouldn't, because you wouldn't know good wrestlers in front of you if, you, if it knocked you upside the head. Exactly. Disgraceful. Someone needs to stop, put a stop to this. Well, Salazar has a formidable opponent tonight. One at one. I think he's very. His title reign is very much in trouble here because we have one Lord Humongous about to make his way to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, Lord Humongous. The size of this man. The cameras do not do him justice. Look at the look at the fan. There. The I have no good authority that little, that little girl right there is six foot four. If you want to just show the comparison of Lord Humongous uh, compared to her, say he wants the title around his waist. Does this get to say his? And Salazar is not a small man, so Lord Humongous just dwarfs him. However, the champion's in some serious, serious trouble here. But quite frankly, I don't want to see Salazar's reign come to an end. He's been a great champion for knockout wrestling. A great champion. I cannot believe you're saying this. Yeah, right on cue, Brandon. Right on cue. There you are to talk bad about Salazar. What did he do? Did, did he crap in your cereal or something? No, but he's crapped in the cereal of a lot of wrestlers. No. Oh. Yeah, because you, you're friends with all the knockout wrestlers here, right? The knockout wrestling wrestlers. The boys in the back, if you will. They you know need what? to get back your stuff from your locker a couple shows ago. You know what? I think Salazar's met his match. I'm pretty sure Nicholas Vick gave away your paycheck at the beginning of the show. You think I'm scared of you, Lord Humongous? You think I'm scared of you? Salazar just in the face. In the face of Lord Humongous who does not move to that shot. Like I said, Salazar has met his match. Lord Humongous reminds me, you know when you grew, grew up playing all those video games and you had that one final boss? That's what Lord Humongous reminds me of because this man just does not move. Right about that. I don't think Salazar has enough tokens for the machine. Oh. You know, just because I say something doesn't mean you have to try to be witty there, Brandon. We know what you feel about Salazar, okay? Look at this, LaBrava, right after a grueling match, and she's out here for her teammate in controversial ink. I think the ref needs to throw her out. For what? She's walking What's around with that I don't trust it. I don't trust that's that at for all. for her protection. That's for her protection from this gargantuan Lord Humongous. Protection from the Lord Humongous? She's more likely to use it against him. Big Salazar's. I just don't know why knockout. Realize. I don't even know why knockout officials sanctioned this match. This Lord Humongous isn't human. Right, I think. Look at look, this. Look, look, look at that. He was see? trying to attack. He was trying to attack LaBrava. Oh. LaBrava trying to think to protect herself. And you're sitting there saying that controversial ink is what's wrong with this business. Controversial thing is absolutely what's wrong with this business. And the ref needs to get the Bravra out of this matchup right away. No. Oh. Sal's are just collapsing from those series Two of counts. attacks from Lord Humongous. Lord Humongous not even phased by the office of Salazar. Oh, clubbing blood is back. There we go, Salazar. Chop this man down. 
Absolutely, you have to take out the legs from Lord Humongous. It's the only way, the only way Salazar has a chance against this man. Oh, close line, Lord Humongous. For Not just man. the close line, I mean, that is, that's like a 747 running into you. Right. For big men, they shoot and move. Lord Humongous just absolutely fluid, like you said. But Salazar, Salazar, the only way to match Lord Humongous is for him to be the faster man, in my opinion. We might see a choke slam here. But all right, this is see, this is getting out of hand. Right, what, what are you talking about? Doing? What is? Oh no! He's done nothing to Lord Humongous, and he's choking her. He's choking. Lord Humongous has to do what he has to do. He oh no! The referee's been taken out with a kendo stick. Oh my God! Kendo stick shot across the back. But Humongous is the Salazar, Salazar just attempting to save La Brava. The referee gets in the way. What, wait, what's going on here? What we have a no the contest here. We have a no contest. What? I cannot believe this. Here is your winner by disqualification, Lord Humongous. Salazar. Uh, first of all, first of all. Match on purpose because you know he hits the no chance. First of all, who called for the bell? Who called for the bell? The referee was down. Was that Nicholas Vick's decision? Who called for the bell? The referee wasn't there. The referee's word stands. This match should be still be going on. There's definitely some shenanigans going on There's here. There's some collusion going on between Lord Humongous and these officials. Lord Humongous? Who called for the bell there, Brandon? The Salazar referee was down. What is this match over?